The Director of Public Prosecutions, Nurdin Haji, has linked the Diamond Trust Bank to terrorism after failure by the bank to report suspicious transactions. Now, this comes just days after the lender's Eastley branch manager was charged with failure to report banking activity that led to the terror attack at 14 Riverside in Nairobi. Raquel Moigai kicks off our bulletin with that report. It is before the National Assembly's Justice and Legal Affairs Committee that the Director of Public Prosecution, Nurdin Haji, made a stunned statement in regards to the war against corruption. We are now taking uh, the fight to the bank so that they take responsibility and ensure that they make the, the reports as required by law to Central Bank and um, FRC. It is such reports or lack thereof that have landed the Diamond Trust Bank in hot soup. The DPP courageously describing the bank as very notorious in flouting bank regulations in cases involving large cash transactions. And DTB, Honorable Chair, Diamond Trust Bank, we have cited them for several uh, breaches of their obligations to report. From NYS cases, uh, to other organized crime cases, especially um, cybercrime. According to a circular by the Central Bank of Kenya to chief executives of commercial and microfinance banks, as well as the mortgage finance companies dated 5th January 2016, the bank ordered the institutions to obtain additional information when handling large, frequent or unusual cash transactions, equivalent to or exceeding 1 million Kenyan shillings. Information including why the large cash deposit or withdrawal is necessary, where the money will be taken right from the bank premises or what it will be used for among other vital information. This, the DPP says, was a caution the bank never took. In this particular instance, Honorable Chair, we have almost 30 million, if I'm not, if I'm not wrong, being withdrawn by an individual who over the years was only withdrawing 400, a maximum of 400,000 in a month. But within a week, somebody is withdrawing 30 million. And within two minutes, you see somebody withdrawing 5 million from MPESA. Uh, I think that begs for us to ask questions why this was happening and why they did not take any caution whatsoever. Regulations outlined in the Anti-Money Laundering and Counter-Financing of Terrorism, the Proceeds of Crime and Anti-Money Laundering Act, any cash transactions on a single day of between 1 million to 10 million shillings will require approval of branch managers, while that between 10 million shillings and 20 million shillings will have to be given green lights by regional branch manager or senior manager. To transact over 20 million shillings in cash on a single day, customers will require approval from head of branch banking or director for the transaction to be completed. DATP failed to report um, suspicious transactions. And we've asked even for CCTV footages, which the bank has been reluctant to give us. And we are therefore concluding that there must be some form of aiding and abetting. What else would we charge them for? On Wednesday last week, DTB Isli Bank Manager Sophia Mbogo was arraigned in court and charged with aiding and abetting the Dusit terrorist attack. The transactions are said to have been carried out on different dates between December 4th, 2018 and January 5th, 2018. Rakem Wigai, Citizen TV.